Hey everyone, Graham here at the Metal Hellsinger concert at Gamescom 2022 in Cologne, Germany. This is Matt Heafy, and this is Bald Banter. How you doing, man? Good. Nice new What's segment you had me on. <laughs> Thanks. I appreciate you giving me your time today. It's good Hi, to be man. here yeah. with you. We both flew in today. We both. I literally came here on a train that was delayed for two hours, ran into here, picked up the mic, and here we go. Rock and roll, baby. Let's just do it. Uh, so, uh, a as a kid who grew up dressing as Sub-Zero for Halloween, how cool is it to be featured in a video game like Metal Hellsinger? It's incredible. Since I was nine years old, I was in love with video game soundtracks. I remember being nine, playing the first Doom and going, I want to make this yes. kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And not really knowing, I didn't even know there was metal yet. I didn't know what metal was until I was sure. 11, 12. So that was, it was my instruction before that. I was beating Mario 1. I was four or five years old. I was doing like old school Twitch where I would have my mom videotape me beating Mega Man, like all the different Mega Mans, all the different oh, Mario's sure. or Donkey Kong Country and have her film the ending. I never watched them. My sister has all the videos, but that was like old school, old school Twitch style. Um, I should get those out someday, but it's, it's amazing. It's amazing that I was able to perform on a video game, an original song that they wrote for me with my voice in mind. And actually I love singing the song and seeing the lyrics. Like I could, I don't know if they did it subconsciously or on purpose, but they're pulling out a lot of lyrics I've used throughout my history yeah. in the song, which is really cool. Um, it's amazing. It's amazing I was flown over here to do a five and a half minute song. And the last thing I flew over to Germany for was to do a one minute guitar solo at Wacken in front of 100,000 people. And they gave me That's more pyro while. than they'd used the entire day. Oh. So it seems like I only do really ridiculous, short impact things in Germany now. Absolutely. Did you see what, uh, I think it was a Mata Marth. Did you see them yes. play on top of the voice? Yes. Oh my God, that it's was amazing. so cool. It's amazing. W Vakken uh, knows how to do it. Yes. Uh, so, I mean, with this video game, it is a sort of a, a mix between, let's say, the new Doom games and like a Guitar Hero type game where you're rhythmically killing a bunch of monsters. And uh, so tell us about how the song sort of uh, is interplay with the game. It's amazing. When I played the beta um, a couple months ago, I'd recorded the song two years ago and I did the beta a couple months ago. And it's something that I never knew I wanted. I never knew I wanted, but I needed it. Like to be able to shoot on tempo of something because that, that is the way I think of everything. I mean, when I do Muay Thai, I think in terms yeah. of beat. Jiu Jitsu, I think in terms of beat. I think in terms of rhythm because that's all I've known. That's kind of the language that you know we speak through music. So playing it that way was really amazing. And actually playing the game, it was so inspirational that I actually hit them up and said, I know the game is done. I know the soundtrack's done, but I want to re-record the screaming because I could do them better now. They're like, no, they're already great. It's like, please just give me a shot. <laughs> I did it, sent over in one take, and they're like, okay, we will mix this in. So I believe they're mixing in my new screaming takes as of like, the game was done. Awesome. But I just had to push that in there because it was me. Um, been rehearsing this one song for the last several months. I was wishing I could do it on stream, I couldn't. So I've been having to do it everywhere I drive, shower, all the time. Just, I think I was telling you before we did this, I think I've, it's gotta be around 300-ish times that I've rehearsed the yeah. song, at least. Wow. I like to be prepared for things, so, because I'm an incredibly, Maybe it shows, maybe it does. I'm an incredibly anxious person. And yeah, aren't I, we all? Yeah, and I think that my anxiety is quelled by doing more and yeah. also being extremely prepared. Absolutely. Like, that's why I'm also not talking that loud because it's like loud ambient noise. I want to keep the voice prepared for tomorrow. So I think about all those things. Well, I appreciate you loaning your voice the day before for this interview. Uh, so let's talk about video games a little bit. We were talking about uh, the early Doom. Again, like, my, I think maybe my favorite game of all time, the original Doom, I played it when I was five years old on my dad's computer. It blew my mind. Again, just like you, I didn't know that, okay, like this is, oh, that's a Pantera song, that's a Metallica song, this is an Alice in Chains song. Later on, I listened to Pantera and I'm just like, this is the Doom music. Yep. Are they playing the Doom music? Yep. Uh, but yeah, I mean, like, when was the first time you realized that the original Doom stuff had sort of just like blatantly ripped off all these classics. I mean, I'd say like, I'd say it paid tribute too, because it was a good introduction to people. It was like a yeah. subliminal messaging for me for, for metal. And what's funny is if you play No Remorse now for someone, if you play it to a gamer, they'll say Doom. Yeah. <laughs> before they say Metallica, which is, which is awesome. Um, it's, it's been really amazing for me to see the, my two favorite things in, in life combine. And then looking backwards, looking back and seeing that Final Fantasy was super metal, like the battle music. That's like, you know, that's Rainbow, that's Dio, that's Iron Maiden, and then Doom, it's like very Metallica. And then like the new school stuff that Mick did for the for the latter games, he yes. introduced a huge swath of people to metal that didn't know what it was. Metal Hellsinger is gonna do the same thing. And it's it's strange for you and I for being 
metal people looking into the gaming world, you just always assume everyone knows metal, but they really don't. When I started getting into streaming, befriending other big streamers, um, getting to know other gamers, no one knew metal, except for a couple people. I mean, Shroud's favorite band's Trivium, so that's awesome, so he knows it. When he plays it, still, I think his viewers are sometimes like, what is this? Um, you know, the Elder Scrolls collab is super cool, but the first time the Elder Scrolls community saw Trivium, they're like, what is this? Yeah. But then the next time it came around, they're like, oh, it's Matt again, and it's Trivium, and they, they've been super supportive. So it's been really cool to be able to sort of spearhead that and spearhead that with a lot of other awesome musicians who all also game, who I was able to teach some of them about Twitch. I remember well before the pandemic, um, I was it was during a stream and Herman Lee was watching and he calls me up. He's like, hey, can you explain this Twitch thing to me? He's like, uh, I'm on stream, but let's go. So I started explaining to him like what it was and now he's got an incredibly successful channel and it's it's been awesome. And there's just more and more great stuff going. I just finished my first video game soundtrack for a game called Martial Arts Tycoon. Oh, cool. The team on it involves one of the people who was on the Modern Warfare team, which is, I think, the greatest, you know, one of the greatest FPSs of all time. Sure. Um, the soundtrack is 90 minutes of Brazilian music. So I'm doing like yeah. Pagogi, Samba, Bossa Nova. I'm, I wrote a song, I'm singing in Portuguese. Uh, I gave them one metal song that they, they said no metal. I gave them one metal song. It sounds like Sepultura. It sounds exactly like oh. Sepultura and it's freaking awesome. I gave him one more thrash song too, but the rest is all like chill, lo-fi Brazilian music. And I'm also doing sound design. So like when your mouse hovers over a menu button, the, what, the, what does the click sound like? What does the punching bag rotate sound like? So I've been doing that now. So I know before, you know, I think game devs were probably like, all right, well, this guy, you know, talks about one of the soundtrack. We've only ever seen Trivium licensed, but now I'll be able to show like, hey, there's another skill set and this is something I really want to get into. Yeah, uh, you know, as you said, uh, uh, with Doom, they told Mick Gordon no metal. They told him no metal, and he delivers Mashuka <laughs> and just the most insane stuff ever. Uh, it's funny that you like delivered metal for, for that game yep. too. Like you and I are about the same age. We grew up uh, when the Nintendo 64 was blowing minds, so and, good. and suddenly this uh, entirely new uh, game console is just uh, kind of reinventing what a video game could be. Uh, when did, did you get an N64 right away, or you got it right away, absolutely? We were well, always a Nintendo family. It would grow up, like, oh, yeah. I, I found that, like, there's sometimes Sega families, sometimes Sony families. I don't like Sega families. Yeah, it's strange, <laughs> isn't it? It's very different. It's like, no, no, no. Alter Beast is cool, but, you know, it's not the same. Grew up with Nintendo, beat Mario 1 first, uh, Mario 1, 2, 3, but Super Nintendo was really, like, the big era. Super Nintendo N64 were my big eras. Uh, Super Mario World was huge. I loved Donkey Kong. I remember when Donkey Kong Country had the... Uh, the making of VHS. We taped it off TV and oh. I watch it all the time. Yeah. I was so into the making of. My family would love Donkey Kong Country. Um, N64, Mario 64, I think is one of the greatest games of all time. Oh, absolutely. GoldenEye is arguably one of the greatest Dear FPS God, of all time. Yeah. I Dear was God. the jerk who'd always pick Odd Job and Proximity Mines. Son of a bitch, why would you? You cannot ever pick Odd Job. Do you know the Proximity Mine trick? So you pick Proximity Mines for your free for all, you throw it on the crate, you pick the crate up. When it respawns, there's a proximity mine that you can't see on the crate. And son of a I bitch. was very, very evil in that oh. game. So Goldeneye was the main one. <sighs> Loved RPGs, obviously Final Fantasy two and three, which are four and six. So mm. Final Fantasy seven, VI, six, and four were my favorite. The music was hugely inspirational on me. Our live show have used Sephiroth's theme, Divinity for Trivium. I referenced the Calamity, which is Genova, mm. which the song isn't about Genova, but it's yeah. kind of like a like a double double play. <sighs> And then going from there, uh, Modern Warfare 1 was, I think, yeah. the greatest FPS of all time. Uh, yeah, but the, the childhood, 7, 6, 4, and 9. I love Chrono Trigger. Mm. Mario RPG was amazing as well. That was mm. a super, super fun, underrated game. So many good games. And since my later years of getting on Twitch and stuff, I first started with Fallout 4, then to Overwatch, Fortnite. Love Fallout 4 Fallout so Fallout 4 is very yeah. good. A uh, ton of Doom on tour. Doom I like to play off stream actually on tour. Oh, I could yeah, just, yeah. just sit there and OG just enjoy Doom it. Yes. Stuff? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Or even, even yeah, uh, Gordon's Dooms um, and just enjoy it that way. Uh, but there's, lately. There's something so enjoyable about those first Doom. Like, I, I literally just went through the whole Doom catalog so on my, uh, just with my Xbox. And you can buy them on that. It's like, Download super quick. It, it looks it's amazing. So Even Doom 64 is sick. Yeah, they're all great. That That is some of the most fun gaming of ever, ever. If there was some way to mix it, because I love COD Rebirth. That's what I, we play a lot with our band and our, our close friends. There's got to be some kind of like rebirth mode for Doom. Like, I think that'd be so fun. Yeah. Like, get 
yeah, get the Doom Slayer in there and get a bunch of them and kind of have like a rebirth mode, rebirth resurgence mode. That'd be really fun. That'd be really cool. Uh, when you were growing up, uh, did you have the uh, friends come over, order the pizza, oh, yeah. BYO, N64 controller, yes. split, screen. Mario, sp split screen, Mario Kart battle type shit? Was that? GoldenEye. It was GoldenEye, GoldenEye first, battle. Halo, okay. Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2, and then when we were a Van Band, I remember our first tour, it was... Uh, God forbid, Scars of Tomorrow and Trivium and all that remains co flip flopping the first and second slots. Mm -hmm. um, we played a lot of Halo split screen in a tiny little conversion van TV. And everyone would always gets so mad because I'd, <laughs> I'd win a lot. You uh, weren't playing Odd Job with them, were you? If you play Odd Job, you should be punished and with playing Jaws next. Yeah. No, with them, no, no. But it was, it was mostly, did a lot of Halo split screen on that tiny, yeah. tiny, tiny TV. I don't know how we did that. Now on tour, it's pretty much just Rebirth. Sure. With, with Paulo, myself, Alex, and Deformance right there. Cool. Uh, did you ever do Counter-Strike? I did it a bit. It's it's another level. Like, it's another level of, like, skill that's, that I won't be able to do. I was terrible at that game. It's, I was it's so too bad. reflexive. It's like Valorant. Like, oh. I, th I think it's like the, it's the, what people say is the, the harder, better Valorant. I was better at Valorant because it was more casual. I, I need games where I can die a lot. Oh, yeah, yeah, for Because sure. that, that kind of reflexive shooting, that's... I would have to not practice singing. I'd have to <laughs> occupy the time I'm singing, my singing or jiu-jitsu training time with that to be that good. It's that level of training. Yeah, I agree. I remember playing Counter-Strike and uh, some of my first times playing and I suddenly was like, wait a minute, if I just stay in one place and kneel with a sniper, I get a lot more yeah. kills. And then, I can't do that. Then suddenly I became very unpopular and I had no idea why. Uh, and then I found out why. Yep. I, I love Overwatch on teams. I love Rebirth on teams. I'm not a Battle, battle Royale guy anymore. Like I, yeah. I don't like looting for 45 minutes and dying. No, I, I, I hear you. Yeah. I played, a, I played like multiplayer uh, Doom 2016 for a little bit. That's tough. That was, it's really tough. Yeah, I had some fun doing that. It's but really I'm, tough. Yeah. There was a QuakeCon uh, a year that I played QuakeCon for my stream room, and they had me play Doom as well, but on like the, on nightmare mode in front of 80,000 people after playing the song. Jeez. Luckily, I did okay. And really? people were like cool about it, so that that was that was interesting. That's a lot of pressure going to, uh, going on nightmare on any Doom game with eighty thousand. That's eighty thousand of the most intense Doom fans in the world watching. They were setting you up. Yes, maybe that was the tryout. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Mortal Kombat. Who's your character? Sub Zero. Always, Costume. always been Sub Zero. Sub is always my favorite. Uh, yeah, it was always Sub Zero. I liked Scorpion as well. Actually, that remind me, I loved Street Fighter Two as a kid. Oh yeah. Um, Marvel Capcom. I was always Ryu for, for Halloween. Ryu and Sub-Zero are the two that I would all Very train. good. That Sub-Zero costume doesn't still exist, but there was a dinosaur costume my mom made me when I was four that my kids still wear now that my really? mom made me. It was in perfect condition. Oh my god. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. All right, so what are, what are the games now that you're obsessed with, if any? Metal Hellsinger for sure. Uh, the ones that I play off t on tour, off tour. I mean, I've been getting ready for so many things that we just did my my foundation's charity show a week ago, so I was preparing nonstop for that. That's for my local children's hospital, and they're preparing for this. So I haven't really been playing too many games, and plus I've been doing the soundtracking stuff on stream as well, but when I can play Rebirth, Doom off stream, um, Magic the Gathering, which I'm able to, it's, it's amazing, I'm able to do stuff with Magic the Gathering, with Elder Scrolls, Metal, Metal Hellsinger. It's, it's been good times. What's your color deck for Magic? Man, I'm kind of undecided, but I think, because of what I do, black is cool. You but I think go, but, yeah, I gotta go black. But the way my personality is and the way I live my life is probably white, like good and you kind. You can mix and, the black and the white yeah. together for a pretty yeah. killer deck. Yeah, yeah. But it's cool. So I did some soundtrack stuff for them, which has been amazing. That's great. Yeah, it's it's been good. And then just did a sea shanty with Elder Scrolls, and hopefully we can do some more stuff with Elder Scrolls soon. They mentioned something about an NPC, so that'll hopefully we do that. Oh, you're gonna be like? I hope so. Let's make it happen. You know, Corpse Grinder was an NPC. Uh, for World of Warcraft. That's right. Yep. And so okay. hopefully with ESO, we'll see. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate you. your time. Metal Hell Singer, September 15th. Check out the game, check out the soundtrack featuring Matt Heafy.